Well, hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome, as usual, back to What's For Tea, and it's lovely to see you again, and I hope that I find you very well indeed, and today I've made a batch of these lovely potato croquettes. We have these quite often as a side because they go with most of the things that I make, but they're really tasty on their own as well. So as usual, I'm just going to show you how I'm making these and I'll put the ingredients on the screen as I use them, but they'll also be underneath the video in the show more box. So I've got some potatoes there. I'm also using breadcrumbs. I've got some egg whites and also some salt and pepper and garlic granules as well. And just to bind everything, I'm going to use corn flour. I've got some Parmesan just to go in to the breadcrumbs and then some plain flour as well. So the first thing you want to do is get your potatoes on to boil. So start with some cold water, put your potatoes into your water, and then you want to bring those up to the boil. Once they're starting to boil, you can pop some salt in and I'm going to add some garlic as well. This is just to flavour the water to give the potatoes a wee bit more flavour. Pop your lid on. You want to simmer these until tender, probably about 20 minutes. Once your 20 minutes has gone by, come back, give them a wee poke with a knife. If your knife goes straight through, then they are ready to go. So just drain out your water and then we're going to mash them. Let them sit on the ring for about a minute just to let any excess water disappear, just to make them nice and dry because we do want your potato dry. And then to this, I'm going to add the salt, the pepper and the garlic granules again, just to give them a wee bit of extra flavour. But you could add extra herbs, parsley into this at this stage, whatever you like. I'm just going to keep them simple. So you just want to keep mashing until they are nice and smooth. I would typically add buttered milk to my mash, but I do want it nice and dry, so I'm not doing that this time. Then to this, I'm going to add the corn flour. Like I said, this is just going to help to bind everything together and make it much easier to shape. So you just want to stir that through until it comes into a nice ball like this and then you're ready to go. So just set that to the side until it cools down, just to, you know, just until it's cool enough to handle. In the meantime, you can get your dredging station set up. So we need some egg white and then some plain flour and then the breadcrumbs. You, you, you know, use whatever breadcrumbs you prefer. I will show you the ones that I'm using in a wee minute. Into the breadcrumbs, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. This is going to make them extra crispy and just give them another wee bit of extra flavour. I've got a wee tray at the back there with some greaseproof paper. Just whisk up your egg white to break them up just a wee bit. I'm using a potato scoop just to make sure mine are all exactly the same size. And it's really, really easy. I would highly recommend using one of those. So just begin to shape into a log your potato with your hand and then onto your work surface just to make them nice and smooth. Pop them up onto each end, give them a wee pat and they will, you know, they will easily fall into this lovely cylinder shape and you will get them all exactly the same. It's really, really easy. So firstly, into your flour, give them a good roll around and get rid of any excess flour. And then into your egg, just make sure they're well coated everywhere. And then into your breadcrumbs, just give them a roll around and a wee pat in. And then we're going to give them a final roll on the counter just to make sure all your breadcrumbs are nicely in there and nice and compact. And just give them a wee squidge on each end just to make sure they're nice and flat. Just keep doing that for all of your croquettes. The amount of croquettes you're going to get will depend on the size of your potato scoop. I get nine really good sized croquettes, but if you're using a smaller potato scoop, you will get more. Or obviously, if you're doing it by hand, you'll be able to work out how many you want to get from the mixture. But this was mine here, and don't they look fabulous? But unfortunately, they're not going to stay looking as perfect as this. If you want them looking perfect, I would suggest deep frying these, and they will keep their shape exactly as you see them. And that's what I would typically do. But for this recipe, I'm going to pop them into the air fryer, just because, you know, lots of folk are using air fryers these days. These were the breadcrumbs that I used, but you could use something like this. Panko breadcrumbs are ideal for this kind of thing. But again, it's entirely up to you. Like I said, I am going to be using my air fryer. So grab your basket, make sure the wee tray is inside. Pop your, your potato croquettes in and you want to give them a light spray with some spray oil, whatever oil you prefer. And then just pop them straight into your air fryer 
and then I'm going to give these 10 minutes initially on 185. You don't want, but you know, don't do them at too high a temperature because they may burst. Just keep coming back and if they need a wee bit longer, just give them a wee bit longer turn them over if you have to, just to make sure they're cooked all the way around. And I was really happy with these. Like I said, not perfect shape as they went in, but that's just the nature of doing things in the oven or in the air fryer. If you do want to keep them in that cylindrical perfect shape, then you will definitely need to deep fry these. But you know, whatever you decide to do, they are going to be absolutely delicious we would typically have these with a roast dinner you know something like chicken or beef so we have had some chicken breast and some stuffing the potato croquettes at the side and we're also going to have some carrots some yorkshire pudding and some gravy made with the chicken juices and some extra tarragon and they were absolutely beautiful let me tell you and let me know if you're planning and giving these ones a go because I have been asked over the years for a recipe for potato croquettes but like I said I would typically fry these you know deep fry them in some nice vegetable or sunflower oil and you will keep that lovely uniform shape so thank you so much for watching if you're still here at this point and a huge thank you as usual to the support of the channel over my Patreon page to the channel members here as well and for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well it's all very much appreciated and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe for another wee shopping unbagging or back on Sunday for our family meals of the week but whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you off as soon hopefully back here on What's for Tea. Bye now.